Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to another Red Dead video. Now in today's video I'm going to be talking about how Rockstar are actually clamping down on glitchers in Red Dead Online and what this actually means for you guys. I do want to give a quick mention to fellow Red Dead YouTuber Dirty Tyler for bringing this one to my attention. So up until now, glitchers in Red Dead Online have been able to get away with pretty much whatever they wanted. However, that looks to have now changed as Rockstar has taken action against Red Dead YouTuber Jay Stone. Now if you don't already know who Jay Stone is, he's probably one of the most well-known and largest um, YouTube channels out there for Red Dead Online glitches. And I'm going to share with you guys a quick segment out of one of his latest videos. As of the morning of the release of this video, Take-Two Interactive did hit me with a channel copyright strike. Now this was not a mild copyright strike by any means. On top of that, they actually put an official copyright strike on my channel. And pretty much what that means is I'm on a 90 day probationary period. And it was the co-op unlimited stack and sale that just released a couple of days ago. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. We got hit with a copyright strike from Take-Two Interactive for making a co-op unlimited stack and sale glitch video on Red Dead Redemption. So as you can see, what Jay Stone is saying here is that Rockstar, or their parent company Take-Two Interactive, has actually taken a manual copyright strike on his channel. Now as a YouTuber, there's a three strike and you're out system, so if you get three of these copyright strikes um, separately, your channel will actually be completely removed and terminated. You know, once your channel is terminated, there's a very, very small chance that you'll ever be able to get it back. So the fact that Take-Two have actually placed a manual copyright claim on his channel goes to show that Rockstar are now paying attention to the glitches that are happening in Red Dead Online and are looking to actually take action against people that are partaking in them. Now interestingly in this video Jay Stone went on to say that he's not going to give up with glitching on YouTube and glitching in Red Dead Online, he's just going to be a bit smarter on how he uploads his content on YouTube I guess. And I believe this is the first time any YouTuber has actually received a copyright strike from Rockstar and Take-Two for uploading a glitch in Red Dead Online. So this is actually quite major news. I'm also going to have a poll on this video, and obviously this is an anonymous poll, it's not going to track your names, but I'm just curious on how many of you guys watching this video have abused a glitch so far in Red Dead Online. So let me know with either a yes or a no. Personally, I've decided to stay clear of all glitches in Red Dead Online just because I've put so much time into my account. I want to be able to continue making videos of it, so it's not worth it to me to, to risk my account for any glitches. Over the years, we have seen a lot of channels that created content around glitching in GTA Online have been removed, and a lot some of those channels have actually been completely terminated um, if they carried on uploading glitches in Grand Theft Auto Online. So it now looks like that is the case for Red Dead Online and players are no longer safe if you're abusing exploits. And to be honest, I always found it a bit weird how Rockstar had kind of different standards for glitching in both of their different games. You know, in Grand Theft Auto Online, if you're caught glitching, you can actually receive a 30-day ban, you can receive account resets, they'll completely wipe all of the cash on your account, and even dish out some permanent bans. Whereas in Red Dead Online, even the two most prolific glitches we've seen in the game so far that was basically the cougar duplication glitch where people were duplicating stacks of cougar carcasses and selling them all to the butcher for a huge profit. No one was banned from that that we've seen reported on so far. And then there was also an even worse exploit which was to do with treasure chests and people were able to keep claiming the rewards from treasure chests and that was a duplication that involved both in-game cash and also gold bars, the premium currency. And there were actually some people that got very, very rich from abusing these exploits. Those people on Reddit saying they had over 100,000 cash on Red Dead Online. As you guys all know, 100,000 on Red Dead Online is pretty unheard of. There's pretty much no way you would have that much legit at this point. So yeah, I just thought I'd make this video and keep you guys informed on the latest on what's happening with this game. Now the Rockstar are paying attention to glitches on YouTube, it's very likely they're going to start paying attention to any players that are prolifically um, abusing glitches in the game. So just a, you know, a word of warning to you guys, let your friends know if they do come across any glitches in the game. It's definitely not safe and undetectable, I guess like the last two glitches have been. Rockstar are keeping an eye on the glitches that are appearing in the game, especially when they're being spread around on YouTube and they'll be able to see exactly how people are abusing it and they will undoubtedly be able to see the people that have made the most money from it. So just be careful out there guys. 
especially with the summer update just around the corner you don't want to be getting your account reset or rolled back. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it. if you could take a few seconds to leave it a like. It really helps support the channel. And go ahead and subscribe if you are new around here, so you don't miss out on any future breaking information. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.